How's it going, troops? Welcome to Scarecorp. This is part four of my snow tech repair series. Hopefully it's the last one. Today I will be putting back the part that I fixed the other day and trying to make it work. So uh, let's take a look at uh, what I got prepared. Alright, so I have a jerry can with uh, some fuel. I also went out and bought some sea foam. You guys might be familiar with this stuff. It um, uh, does a lot of wonders. So basically, cleans injectors, cleans carbs, fuel stabilizer, dries out oil and fuel. Uh, basically, uh, really good um, additive for your fuel, diesel, and whatnot. So. If you haven't uh, got one of these, make sure you have one in your garage. I'm also having, um, well, having drilled this guy out and played with it, uh, there might be actually some, there might be some debris left in there, so I got some intake medic. It's uh, just an intake manifold uh, spray, so I'm going to be using that as well. And I also have some tools here. So uh, these are the tools that I was using last time to take this thing apart. And if you haven't uh, seen my other videos, uh, please check them out. Um, I'll be posting them uh, all over here to uh, so you can see them, the progress I've made. So this is the guy that uh, that broke. I fixed it the other day. Just put some uh, screws on it and hopefully it's gonna work for me so I'm gonna put this guy in today set that aside so this is the guy that oh, this is where it's gonna go so like I mentioned I stuck a I st stuck a um, what are these? These are the uh, golf tees, so um, so the fuel doesn't get any uh, air in there, and basically it just keeps the debris out. Okay. Um, also, uh, one of you guys commented, uh, why don't I use one of these? Uh, this guy here to start it instead of pulling it. Um, I might take your advice on it today and uh, try that out. I think the other reason this thing didn't start in the beginning besides the bad fuel is it was really really cold. It was like 20 minus 28 Celsius 29 that day. Um, you know, and this thing's been sitting for a while so all of that together probably didn't help it so. So the problem uh, with this guy is that it needs like a really thin female end to plug it in here. See the housing, it doesn't give you much for uh, for for room here to to plug anything in so it's almost like a proprietary plug or I need to shave one off or find something in the store so so I will be putting this all together right now and hopefully when I am done I will show you the finished product before I start this guy up all right I'm back so I have uh, <clears throat> Put this guy back in its place. Everything went pretty smooth. As you can see there, this kind of looks ugly, but I'm sure it will hold. So I'll put this guy back in here. I haven't put the uh, plastic piece on yet, and I haven't put my guard on here yet. Just I want to make sure it doesn't leak. It looks all good. So I filled it up with fuel. I use my uh, my sea foam on it. And I am ready to start it. So, I got our primer, choke full, key in, run on, and all of this doesn't really matter. 
this turn to on. Uh, you can't see it, but it's on. And uh, here I go. I'll give it a couple more just to be sure. And uh, one, two, three. Perfectly dry, it works, I'm very happy. So, all I really probably needed is a better fuel in the beginning there to get this thing going. I know this thing's pretty new still, so it starts up the first try here once I pumped it. So, awesome, awesome. Looks like uh, we did it. And this thing's not leaking at all. I didn't see any leaks, so this thing will hold forever. So I'm probably not even going to put this cap on here just in case I ever do bump this thing again. I don't want it sticking out extra an inch and a half or whatever it does. So awesome, awesome. I will be putting this back together now um, and maybe finding uh, a decent plug for this so then when it is cold, I don't have to use the the pole start so well thank you for uh, watching this series and uh, sticking it through to the end I'm very happy I got this thing going um, everything seems to be working alright so thank you again for uh, watching with me and actually there is one other thing I wanted to mention I did notice this before as well, actually before this series when I pump this thing it starts to leak so uh, I'm thinking where are we? there's a leak right there Oh, no. Where is it? Oh. Is it right there? Oh, I wonder if that's getting hot and... What the heck? Where is that coming from? So... Uh, unless it's dripping from up here. Up here, maybe. Eh? Well... But anyway, that's uh, for a second time. Anyway, thanks again for uh, watching this video. If you have any qu questions or comments, post them down below. If you want to see more of these videos, or maybe see if uh, my other fixed video for, this, uh, for that primer, uh, please do subscribe to see as they come out. And uh, once again, thank you for watching. That is it for my time. I do thank you for yours. Have a good one. Bye.